where is it here? Again, they give me the table, right? <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to have to calculate stuff, but I, I'm seeing that there's an equation here. So they gave it to me and I'm seeing how many and I'm so I'm, I'm pretty much figuring that they're going to ask me something in terms of prediction, which means I'm going to use this equation. Are they going to give me X? Are they going to give me Y? I don't know. So but that's me thinking ahead, right? Um, all right, so let's see. The table below shows the number of state registered automatic weapons and the murder rate for several Northwestern states. Now they gave me, they defined my X and Y for me, thank you very much. My X is thousands of automatic weapons and my Y is murders for 100,000 residents. Beautiful. <laughs> um, now, obviously that was sarcasm, but, <laughs> but um, so I don't have to really think about what de would depend on what, right? X is my independent, Y is my dependent, but you would, you would assume if it weren't told to you that the number of murders would um, be dependent on the amount of automatic weapons that for this example, right? <clears throat> this is not, <laughs> no opinions, is just based on what's in front of me, okay? This data can be modeled by an equation. Boom, the equation's given to me. Now, check this out. I want you guys, before I even think about anything else, I want you to look at the equation, and I want you to tell me what the slope is. Tell me what the slope is. I'm going to write it slope equals, and I want a y-intercept too. Slope is positive. The slope is 0 0.87, the coefficient in front of x, and it's positive. What does that mean then? If the slope is positive, what does that mean about the graph? Well, I'm not taught. Well, be careful. This is the slope and not r. But I would expect r to be positive as well. I just don't know what it is. If R is closer to one, then I would expect my data values to be closer together. But the slope being positive doesn't necessarily tell me how strong the correlation is, OK? But it does tell me that it's increasing. Um, increasing. <laughs> so I have a line going up, which means as X increases, Y increases, which means as X goes up, as the number of automatic weapons increases, then we would expect the murder rate to increase as well. Which I guess would make sense, right, based on what we're seeing here. Um, my Y intercept, <clears throat> this is kind of like the graph just to make it. My Y intercept is the 3.96. And just for review, when you have a Y intercept, your X coordinate is zero and your Y coordinate is that, right? So anytime you're talking about a Y intercept, it is a point on the Y axis, which means the X coordinate is zero. Some of these problems ask you to interpret your Y intercept and your slope. Um, and your Y intercept is kind of like always the initial starting point. So when X is zero, when there are zero thousands of automatic weapons, <laughs> we would expect 3.96 murder or well, murders per 100,000 residents. This is like the initial, anytime we talk about y-intercept. Um, okay, now this is just me talking about what I see. So let me rewrite this because obviously I'm going to use it. And we'll talk about A first. So let's see what they want from me. A. OK, um, use the equation to answer the following special note. I suggest you verify this equation by performing linear regression on your calculator. We could do that after if you want to. I mean, they gave me the equation, so it's what I'm going to use to solve these. But if we want to, we could look at that later. I'm hopefully going to do a question anyway that goes through that. But um, how many mur murders per 100,000? So how many murders? murders so why is what can be expected in a state with this many automatic weapons so they give me the amount of automatic weapons so they give me my x <coughs> excuse me so in other words i guess i'll put it here when x 
is 8.6, y is what? So <clears throat> you got to figure out, you know, which variable they're giving to you because you're predicting. Because obviously, if you're going to predict, they got to give you something and ask you for something. So in this particular case, they gave me the number of automatic weapons, which matches my x. So that's going in x, and then I'm going to find y. So again, I'm just going to plug and chug. My x is 8.6. And I could just straight up plug it into my calculator. Oops, where is my calculator? 0.87 times 8.6 plus 3.96. And I get 11.442. Oops. Ah, go back. Here we go. What did I do? What just happened? Okay, here. 11.442. Now it tells me to round to three decimals. That's exactly what I got. So 11.442. So we are expecting approximately 11.442 murders per 100,000 residents if there are 8.6 thousand automatic weapons in that particular state or whatever. Let's see what B asks me for. <laughs> oh yeah, let me ask you who comes out, you know, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> not the best, right? I think because it's, you know, when you do these online, hold on, we'll talk about it after. Um, how many murders, so what are they, <laughs> what are they asking you for here? How many murders per 100,000? Are they asking you for X or asking you for Y? What is D asking you for? Because they're asking how many murders for 100,000. Are they asking you for X or are they asking you for Y? Okay. Which one represents amount of murder? I'm not seeing anything in the chat here. I'm not hearing anything. They're asking for why? Because they're asking how many murders for 100,000 residents. They're asking for why. They're giving you X. Because they're saying 6.6 thousand automatic weapons. And X represents thousands of automatic weapons. So this one is giving you X again and asking for Y. But they could have done the opposite. Highly possible. But this one, they're asking you to predict another one. So it's the same thing we just did, but now with a different number. Now X is 6.6. .6. So basically, there are less automatic weapons. So I would expect the amount of murders per 100,000 residents to go down as well. I know. It's not the best example. I take them straight from the <laughs> All right, and then plus, so I'm just plugging it into my calculator. 9.702. And they want me to round to three digits, so I'm, that's it. And But this is, makes sense that it would be less than part A, because the amount of uh, automatic weapons decreased, and being that if X is going down, Y should also go down. So <laughs> let me stop recording.